Follow Helen Paul and I, Frank Donga. You forgot your show notes, Sensa. Can you imagine? That's what I'm looking for. Over the last three years, we have traveled through the hills and the valleys of Nigeria. I've seen people combine their coleslaw with a father rice and pomo before. Say what? As we uncover the untold stories of food heroes on the front lines. There is no planting season for us. We produce here every week. Connecting them to untapped opportunities and the experts who can solve their problems. We advise farmers to top dress with urea at the rate of 90 kilograms per hectare. For a very long time, I think we neglected farming in Nigeria. We provide loan to these farmers and then we've, uh, we've been working with them for like over 10 years now. So anybody can participate in agriculture. This is Farm and Fortune. Uh, my name is Bala Musa Sanda. I'm from Kaduna State and I've been farming ginger for the past 11 years. Even though uh, from childhood, I would say I inherited it from my dad. And when I grew up, then on my own, for the past 11 years, I've been farming ginger. I started farming cocoa about nine years ago. And then this cocoa belongs to my father. And immediately my father died, dead. I heard it, the farm cocoa. This year it appeared that the rain fell between, you know, farming is supposed to be between early April, but this year came a little bit. So the seed for you to have, the seed I store, since that period to May, and because that was a storage problem, it got decayed too. Parasite is the major problem also that, it, that we are having in farming. Uh, our cocoa is dying. <laughs> So your aunt is very disturbing farmer. All this space is disturbing all the farmers in this Ikoba community. Before in olden days, we are realizing 20 bars at once, but immediately this ant started to disturb in us. It reduced the product reduced into 16 bags, 14 bags. Then a bayan in the Akala Zenya Hotel at Tenga Wina. You see a cousin, I can one and jar about the Samu Guma. To do the Erin Abu one, then us are at Ayuna Kaga, one number Zayiba. They warned us, but we didn't listen. The people who warned us early were called prophets of doom and naysayers. Now the effect is here, climate change. Food availability disruption. Decreased access to food, reduced quality and quantity of food. The list goes on and on and on. You see, the effect of climate change in agriculture should not only be studied, it should be actively combated. That's right, because if a society can't plant food, it's only a matter of time that the civilization and disorder will be obvious. My name is Helen Paul. And I'm Frank Donga. And in this series finale, we'll be taking a look at how to use technology to battle the effect of climate change in agriculture. Welcome to Farm and Fortune. Our first guest today on this show is Mr. Ayodeji Arikawi. Mr. Yadeji Ayukawe is a software engineer and also a co-founder at Thrive Agric. Thrive Agric solves the problem of food scarcity by providing finance to our farmers and they also provide advisory that is based on actual data. They also provide market to solve some of these problems. Please welcome Mr. Ayodeji Arikawe. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for having me. Nice to see young, smart people joining forces in agriculture. Glad to be here. Glad Great. To be here. Thank you so much. Um, let's dive in real quick. I know you work with a lot of farmers, you know, in Nigeria, and you've seen things 
and you've seen the effect of climate change. But just for the record, can you just tell us what exactly climate change is and maybe a first-hand experience yeah. from you? I mean, so for, for me, right, it, it is not so much about me as it is about the farmers. Mm -hmm. And I think it's about going to the field and seeing a farmer who would normally, I mean, set out at the beginning of the season, plants maize, um, waters it, or plants rice, waters it, puts, his, I mean, puts fertilizer, and then comes back two months after. And some dam has over flooded or there was excessive rain. And now um, quite a significant amount of his products, his produce is lost. So a farmer that would get maybe 10 bags, mm -hmm. now get five bags. And I mean, for that farmer, that means that's one time in the year the only one time in the where they actually get actual income yeah. and half of that is gone. Um, so that's, that's the real effect. So it's for a lot of people, it's flawed, um, it's, the, um, it's excessive rain, it's dams overflowing. Um, it's just the inability to predict how the season will go or what their income will look like. What role do you think tech can play in helping farmers uh, and then on the, other, on the flip side, also yeah. fighting climate change? Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I'll say I would do it today, right? So. I mean, for us, it's really that thing of like, um, I mean, when you're on the news, 1,000 farmers lost, their, lost um, their farms or got flooded. It's just numbers to most people, right? And we try to create an identity around those numbers. So it is Aisha from Saminaka in Kaduna, right? And then, I mean, this is who she is. This is how long she's been farming. This is the side of her, this size of her land. And we're able to... Um, Capture that data um, using, we built a tool called the agriculture operating system, mm -hmm. capture the data totally offline, and can then provide this data to banks and anyone looking to finance their farmers. And then through our platform, they can layer on financing to the farmers. Um, so that's something we've done, and that's something that has to be done critically at scale, um, because it gives confidence. I mean, the, the bank um, doesn't want to, I mean, for them, again, as I said, the same way it is to just a run for my cadre, but now it's, this is Aisha. She has been farming for seven years. Average yield is 200%. She makes a millionaire a year. Therefore, I can give her a credit line of 200,000, right? That's what technology is able to do. Um, then we're also able to take that same data and provide to the farmers in terms of um, just understanding how to plan and when to plant, right? What sort of seeds to use? Um, when is the rain going to fall? Um, what sort of pests are available in my community? And should I have um, crop protection products ready to attack those kind of pests? And then lastly, how do they sell, right? Farmers need to be able to market, so we need transparency in prices. Mm. Um, today, between the farmer and the end user is about six middlemen. So it's like somebody comes to their farm, buys it, the person takes it to the market, from the market it's another person, before it gets to the eventual user, and before it probably comes to your conflicts, right? Um, sometimes we forget that it actually was grown in Nigeria's maize. And so what we do is, can the farmer get the most value, right? They have visibility of pricing, they can get their quality to the standard to reach this, um, food processors want them, and they can then market to them directly. Um, I think those are some of the things that technology will, is, is, being, is driving in agriculture. Um, it's still very early days, mm. right? But I think that um, with time, um, with all stakeholders coming together, we could see that. Beautiful. Happen, right? I must thank you sincerely, Mr. Ayodhi Jarikawi. Thank you. And I wish you all the very best in your agribusiness and, uh, endeavors. Thank you so And much. I wish you all your farmers uh, beautiful luck. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you so much you. for coming Thanks on so the show. Thank you so much for having me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you just had Mr. IODG Arikawe, you know, expatiate, you know, and deep, digging deep on the issue of climate change and what his him and his team are doing to help our farmers, which is really, really beautiful. But don't go anywhere yet. We're going to take a quick trip now to our DIY segment. We have a wonderful hack for you. We'll be right back. Welcome to the DIY segment. Today, I'll tell you how to access quality farm input and support from OCP Africa's Farm and Fortune Hub. It's simple. Download the Udongo app from Google Play Store to locate Farm and Fortune Hubs across the country. OCP Africa's Farm and Fortune Hub is an all-inclusive platform that connects smallholder farmers to the resources they need, including training on good agricultural practices, quality input and timely support, and there are farm and fortune hubs in every region across Nigeria. Now you can simply click a button to reach out for help. That's our hack for today. It's been an amazing journey on the OCP Farm and Fortune show this past three seasons. And guess what? We have someone from the OCP team in Nigeria right here with us in the studio. Please welcome to the show, Mr. Akinzunde Akinwande, Head of Business Development, OCP Africa Nigeria Limited. 
You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much, Frank. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, as you know, we've been discussing climate change, um, but more importantly, technology as mm. it pertains to mitigating the effects of climate change in agriculture. How would you, uh, what steps have you taken to, uh, as a company, what steps have you taken to ensure that agriculture in Africa is sustainable mm. and, uh, and profitable with respect to all these challenges of you know, climate change and, you know, and its effects on agriculture? Um, first, I'd like to say well done, by the way. Thank You're doing you, a fantastic work. The whole team. Uh, the, whole team. The, the whole team is doing a good work. Um, first, it's nice to look at digital technology, looking at the types of digital technology. And I always tell that, I mean, it helps when you know that what is the spectrum of digital technology. So we're saying smartphones, we're saying use of ATM machines and POS, we're saying things around e-commerce, buying and selling online, we're saying video streaming that happens that everybody does today, and we're saying artificial intelligence. So basically within those six spectrums forms the basis of what digital technology is about. And if you look at the last five to 10 years, what has happened in Nigeria is that you've seen a very rapid increase. Mm. And a rapid increase because at the base of digital technology is data. Mm -hmm. So with all the six things I've mentioned, you can find different things that are happening in agriculture. Mm. So smartphone technology, you find people using smartphones to advance agricultural processes and a lot of things. You find ATMs, POSs being valuable in rural areas mm. to help farmers, to help people within the agricultural value chain. You find video streaming. I mean, we, I mean, OCP and a lot of other companies are doing very good agronomy practices in video form that you can stream online and people can see. So farmers in rural villages can actually view these materials and benefit from them. And I mean, the last one, which is also we're gradually getting into is artificial intelligence, which basically is machine learning. So can we gather data over the years and with the knowledge of the data and predictability of data, can you say what the future will behold? Mm. I mean, can you sit down and predict what the harvest of a farmer will be right from planting? That's all the things that digital technology can do in agriculture. And like you asked, I mean, OCP is happy. I mean, we've always been at the forefront of promoting profitability and sustainability for farmers. So part of what we do is to educate farmers. And you find out that all our project has at the backdrop some level of education to farmers because we believe that it's the knowledge you have that can help you improve. Mm. So we educate farmers. You find us finding access to finance for farmers. We're not a finance company, but you find us partnering with institutions like the Lapo Microfinance, like Sterling Bank, institutions that give finance to farmers. And we've been doing that well for the last six years. Um, you also find things around building, boost yielding um, agriculture. What that means is, can we get improved variety of seeds, improved fertilizers. And when we say improved fertilizers, what are we saying? Fertilizers tailored to specific crops and specific soil types to help the farmer do better. Um, we also do linkages to markets. Uh, basically, we think that it's important to understand that the m farmer, after his trade, needs to be assured of a good market mm. to be able to. And then two other things we do is to empower farmers and empower people within the agricultural chain. So you find out that at all of our projects, there's a, I mean, an underlining thing to be sure that whatever we do, whether it is building, getting a, I mean, agriculture extension agents who are always on bikes, earning money from that, or somebody managing a shop, or somebody doing, gathering soil data, someone is being empowered. And finally, we also look at optimizing processes because we think that um, there are two sides to profitability. You increase your revenue, you reduce your cost. Optimizing processes also helps farmers and everybody along the chain to actually see where their cost centers are and the major things taking a part of their cost and being able to improve it and get better. So we've been doing all that across so many projects, mm. but underlining those six things critically and effectively. Thank you very much for that explanation. But can you uh, quickly dive into some of these resources that you have available to farmers? Where can they go to get some of these resources in terms of information, in terms of data, uh, maybe in terms of actual physical inputs? Where? I mean, let's be specific now. <laughs> this is your show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take it over, sir. Okay, so first, um, we have a website. I mean, like most other companies, ocpafrica.com, where you can go to and find out a lot about us and contact us. Um, secondly, I mean, we're seated on Farm and Fortune TV show, which is also an important 
aspect because we are speaking to millions of people. So we are speaking to farmers, mm -hmm. we are speaking to intending farmers, we are speaking to commercial farmers, we are speaking to stakeholders. Mm -hmm. um, and we think that's also important. That's mm -hmm. a very important part to reach out to all these people. So that is happening. The third part is the app that we have created called Udongo, mm -hmm. which is a, I mean, a mobile app that gives direct contact with farmers and every other person who have access to it across the country. Mm. Um, Udongo aims to do five things, and I'll run through them very quickly. Please do. First, can the farmer who has access to the app find farm inputs? So that's basically e-commerce. So can you buy? And we're saying inputs like seeds, fertilizers, chemicals. So can you go on the site and find access to those farm inputs? Secondly, can you find access to farm management? And what we call farm management is, what are the processes that the farmer needs to do as a business owner to manage his farm effectively? What are the different things he needs to do? How does he get education? How does he understand what to do? How does he understand how to take not, I mean, data? So the farmer is going to a season this year, or is going to farming this year. He's able to record data, unique data, of what he has done through this year. Next year, he's able to do the same thing. So this year he says, I use four bags of fertilizers. I use this kind of improved seed. If he gathers that data for about five years, you'll be shocked how much value that data is, for example, to a financial institution who wants to give him loans because he knows that he has data and has history. Mm. So that's what farm management does. Another part of it is what we call agronomy advice. Mm. So we're able to advise farmers on what to do. I mean, we do things like weather advisory. So we know that the climate is changing, which mm, you've rightly sure. said. How can we mitigate this change? How can we ensure that this change does not adversely affect the farmers? Um, so that's there on agronomy practice. And also we speak to farmers about, oh, a farmer says, I am in Soba local government. And we can say, oh, based on our data, soil profile that we've gathered of Soba, Soba is rich in these nutrients. So these are the kind of nutrients you need to apply for your certain crop to be able to get a yield. I mean, get good yield. Uh, it's, it's brilliant what uh, you, you and your team are doing and wish you wish you all the very best thank you and very the most much. success stories. I mean, it's already a successful story, yeah, but yeah. most success story. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Frank. And thank you for coming and on well the done. show. <laughs> thank you. All right. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, well, don't go anywhere yet. We still have more coming for you on the show. Let's take a moment right now and check out what Helen has for us on Secrets of the Soil. Welcome back to the show, it's Tell Fam and Fortune, and of course this segment is a wonderful segment where we share the secrets of the soil. Our expert is here in person of Miss Abere Chuku, Marian Ogadi. Good to have you. Thank you, ma'am. You look beautiful. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, um, on, on this program today, we've been talking about fertilizer, and I want to ask a question, please. The, how, what are the methods used in applying fertilizers? Thank you, Helene. Well, the ability of a farmer to know the right way of applying fertilizer is very important. Okay. This is because it will enable the farmer to have a, an optimum productivity. Let's look at the various methods of applying this fertilizer. Mm -hmm. We have broadcasting method. From the name broadcasting is when fertilizer is applied over the land uniformly to, to be able to for the soil to take up the, for the crop to take up the yes, nutrients. Yeah. Then we have two types of broadcasting method. We have the basal and then we have the, the top dressing. The basal is a type of method whereby the fertilizer is spread over the land, but this basal is done at planting, okay. beginning of the planting. Why the top dressing is a type of method where the fertilizer is sprayed on the, land, on the farmland. This is done when the plant is already grown. Great. Then we have the site placement. Of course, when the name is site placement, is when you have a shallow line Same. at the site of the crop. Mm. You apply your fertilizer at the site of the crop. Mm. Then we have one we call ring placement. Of course, you, have, you make a ring like a circle yes. over, the, over an individual plant mm. and to apply that of fertilizer. Mm. Then we also have foliar application and fertigation. Mm. And this is where I'll be emphasizing on. Mm -hmm. Foliar application method of um, applying fertilizer is when the fertilizer solution is applied on the leaves 
that's on the plant leaves. The nutrient solution is normally prepared in low concentration, mostly of this macronutrient, in 2% or 3%. This foliar method is very useful to correct nutrition, nutrient deficiency in the growing crops. The, the most important benefit of this foliar application method is that in area where you have extreme dry weather condition, take for instance in the northern part of Nigeria, where, where, you, where soil, where crops find it difficult to take up nutrients from, the, nutrients from the soil due to low moisture content of the soil. That's right. Foliar application method is the best practice to be used. Let's talk about the fertigation. Fertigation application is the method of delivering nutrients to the plant. This fertilizer can be applied through an irrigation water as a, as a, as a liquid spray. The nutrient is being the nutrient moves down to the plant or the rhizome, which is being transported by xylem tissue to supply, to provide nutrients directly to them. So knowing the appropriate way of applying fertilizer will give you maximum productivity, mm. We make you to avoid waste, mm. and at the end of the day, manage your soil properly. Thank I you. have learned so much. Thank you so much. And I will not forget that applying fertilizer, you need broadcaster which is to broadcast, right? Yes, yes, you spray it, broadcast yeah. the word, because I am a broadcaster. So we broadcast too in farming. Don't forget that. Then you ring, you ring warm, like we ring it. Ring method. Yeah, you ring your method round. Then you slim case it. I mean, which one? Yes, like you have a shallow slim. <laughs> A line. I'm learning so much on farm and fortune. Thank you so much. Okay. You are really an expert. We're glad to have you. Thank it's you. still farm and fortune. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Going straight to Ban Banta. Enjoy. Welcome to the last band banter of the season of Fam and Fortune. We've had a lot of fun in the past episodes and today's own will not be different. I have two unique guests with me. First is the beautiful Omotola Ido and of course our queen in the house, Deborah Akitsulubo, right? Thank Good to much. have you. Good to have you. Thank you and much. thank you for honoring our invitation. I have a question for you as farmers, okay. and I would like you to please help us. The question is, if you could use technology to improve your business, which equipment or two would you choose and why? For me, I would choose um, the use of a CCTV camera okay. for safety and security on the farmland okay. to protect all that is on the farmland and also to prevent stealing, theft. What about you, please? I'm going to use mobile app to monitor my workers, to know if they are fine on the farm. Even though I'm not on the farm, I will be able to have free access to them and to know if they are okay and everything on the farm is going well. It's okay, because I would like to keep asking questions. But because of time, let's go to the game. Are you ready? Yes, ma. Now to the games. And to make it more special, I would like to play with my colleague, Frank. He's always fumbling like he knows how to do. Ah, uh -uh. let me invite you first now. Why are you doing press up? What's no in time, this game? No time. There is nothing. We're, we're the one okay, we... now listen to the rules and regulations. But before then, let's allow our people pick. Who do you want to go with? I'll go with you. With me? <laughs> Who would you like to go with? I'd like to go with you. Ma. With me. So no one is choosing you. Number one, oh. <laughs> hey. You are going with her. You are coming with me. Let's go. Rules. <laughs> Is it by force? Do no. you want to go with him? It's by game. Yes. You'll go with him. No wonder you have the same color. Estelle Farm and Fortune, and of course, the conditions of this game, we have 60 seconds to bust all the balloons with our darts. There are 38 balloons on each board, and there are six darts for each team to use to play this game. When we exhaust our darts, don't forget, we will pick the darts up again, and of course, Continue to play until the buzzer tells you stop. Now let's go play the game. My friend, stay here. His friend, stay here. Are you ready? Yes, yes ma. On your mark, set. Don't let them feel like no set. You do not hold it up. And what's in the come? Now, what's your problem? See, you're my friend. Okay. I want us to win. Okay. Oh, your map. Get set. Focus. Go. Hey. 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 Hey.
Oh, move, oh, yeah. Move. Throw it again. Target where? Right. Set it where? Hey! Wait My friend, you have disappointed me. This is emotional. Throw it, throw it, throw it! Throw it. All of them. All oh, yeah! Ah! Don't waste it. Throw now. It's almost time. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Aha! Keep all your dads and juice. You don't waste it time. Go, 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 go. Ankara to the rescue. Africa to the rescue. Ah. Very good. They say it's okay. You have turned to the. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. My dear, you try. <laughs> You're still on to fame and fortune. We've chosen our winner quickly, and I'm super excited about who the winner is. <laughs> the one who chose 18 and did well chose me first, and I can't reject it. I love her. Congratulations for blowing up 18 balloons. You're now my candidate. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry I didn't choose you at the beginning. It's too late. It's too late. And of course, the winner on this band banter will be going home with 100,000 naira worth of farm inputs. And you know what? Of course, on Farm and Fortune, everyone is a winner. You also have a gift to go home with and you collect from him. So, congratulations. This is our winner. I'm sorry I didn't choose you at the beginning, okay? We've had you. We look good. Come. Stand, Face your stand partner. next to your contestant. Don't, don't, don't go there. Let us stand next to You are a winner. We saw it all this season. The games especially. To the interviews. And the documentaries. And don't forget the DIY hacks and the many secrets of the many soils that we focused on. With my own favorite part, Fortune Board. It's been fun, but perhaps the most important bit of this season was how we were able to educate not only the farmers and the audience, but ourselves on not only how to farm, and of course, how to put structure to your business and also teaching our farmers how to take fortune into farming business. I'm Frank Donga. I'm Helen Paul. And of course, it's a great honor to have been your host this time. See you on the next season of Farm, Farm and, and Fortune. fortune.